What's up guys this is Hardik here and today I'm showing you a full review on this rom called Touchwiz Revolution version 12 basically as you can see this here is the rom itself it's the the ui is kind of like the samsung galaxy s6 as you can see here if you even go to the settings this looks like the normal samsung uh the galaxy y just the layout is kind of changed if you go into about device here as you can see android version is v12 final and it's still based on jelly bean so th so that's a bit disappointing here that it's still on jelly bean rather than it being on um, something like kit kat like or lollipop i'm not expecting marshmallow lollipop is also least expected but it should have been on kit kat but anyways there is a software update i think i'll label but it won't uh, update it on kit kat anyways but i'll be reviewing this rom so basically this here is the layout and for some reason this rom comes pre installed with the nova launcher so if you just tap it here As you can see this here is the Nova launch where everything is set already so as you can see the icon size is set the layout is set here and so that's it just create a folder and stuff but we'll just jump into our touch with home screen here so this here is the home screen as you can see uh, so what will we get here is the regular calculator the camera here the icon is changed but let's see if the UI is changed um i should say a bit changed uh not that much but it's fine the shutter is normal just click up click real quick there you go video is just slide over here and it will turn on the video mode so as you can see it's crop from here and camera again and here's the front camera is the flash here are some scenes uh so I mean, some shooting modes uh here are some settings even in the video camera we have the front facing camera over here so that's there but um if we just move out of the camera real quick and let's see what else we get in this rom so we get over here is led blink up pro although there is no led notification light here I think uh so this is of no use actually uh but we'll just okay 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 and just turn it on quickly there we go I don't know if it's of any use or something but it's there so the next thing we get here is the Nova launcher itself as i said and also i think i think it's like 60 40 this rom comes pre installed or i'm sorry pre rooted So I just think I don't know exactly but you can root it anyways using super receive so that's there also this rom comes with ultra power saving mode uh, I don't know what is but if I just power saving okay uh okay so if we just like hit on the power Okay so if we just hit on the power ultra power saving mode it just takes us into this the battery is 20% as you can see here and it just shows us the time and there are a few apps here if you go to settings so you get here is this and all basic stuff to like save your battery if you just go into the settings here okay these are the only settings we get so if you just hit back or if you hit home we are taken into the normal home and that's there also uh, it comes with the phone which is obviously not normal it's the s6 kind of uh dialer here also we get here is my files which is also changed here as you can see it's pretty cool but if you want uh like non touch wise experience i would suggest go flash or sign in mode or yeah sign in mode that's there so i made a video on the 5.0.1 on this grand Yes, so I'll be posting it in the uh, description below, or the link will be here uh, in the cards. So that's there. Also, we get here is video mode, but I don't have any videos, so that's there. Uh, so good thing here is it comes pre-installed with Exposed. So that's there. If you just hit on the uh, Exposed here framework over here, okay. If you just install and update, grand. Okay, it will just reboot, and I'll be right back. 
so here as you can see it's this is the uh, boot animation also you get some kind of sound with this but I can't exactly show you the sound right now but anyways it's starting apps and we are in let's just wait for like 10 seconds or something that it load completely so there we are so uh, exposed installer as I was talking about if you go into modules no models are found it's refreshing still let's, let's okay see. so there were no models installed already we have to download it from here though um, so we'll just wait for like until it loads or something so there we go as you can see expose is installed already and there are tons of download uh, modules over here that we could download and we could modify this over here so we will just download the uh, gravity box for jelly bean quickly and just download so here we just have to like uh, check the oops I'm sorry check the unknown sources over here okay let's go back install next install accept open okay it's not activated yet um, so we'll just quickly touch here we'll do this on reboot okay so we'll just close this as you can see this is also being really fine it's just like the s6 or s5 i should say just quickly restart and i'll be back when the device reboots I don't know if you guys did hear that but it was the boot animation or I should say the sound of the boot animation so let's wait here and it's done um, so the thing I should say about this ROM is the battery life is complete shit <laughs> to be honest it doesn't even last like three hours or four hours something that's it that that's not even normal uh, so as you can see it's already drained a lot but that's I don't know why it's causing this but the battery is still complete shit also this is not as stable as other ROMs uh, uh, like the Sanogen mode the CM Nightlies are more stable than this ROM so I would suggest if you want a stable ROM for the Galaxy Grand you just flash the Sanogen mode ROM and it'll be right at home but anyways this is like the TouchWiz experience if you want so you just have to install or flash this ROM if you want touch with experience like the s5 or s6 so if we just go to the gravity box okay i got it and as you can see there are tons of tweaks that we could do over here so that's a good thing uh if we just go to navigation key control okay so as you can see there are tons of tweaks that we could do i, I won't be getting into that right now but anyways what else we get here we'll just quickly go ahead into the settings go into more and as you can see this everything here is like the normal Samsung TouchWiz the grand settings that we used to get on the Galaxy Grand of course so it's base it's like the basic um, thing uh, we could like uh, build number and we could just enable the developer mode here also I would suggest uh, just reduce the animation to like 0.5 okay we get a 0.75 over here so that's actually cool because 0.75 is like between what we what we should have put our devices on because uh, 0.5 is like like quick and 1.0 is like too slow so 0.75 is like actually good but anyways that's it that's all we get uh, in this we also have google keyboard so that's pretty much all i'll just quickly show you if i just tap on here to search something um okay no shoes so as you can see there so as you can see here it's the google like keyboard pre install you could just change the settings and st stuff so that's there also what else what else we get the s paneler here so that's normal actually 
the clock, the calculator, the FM radio app. Nothing much here as you can see except the Google things. Voice recorder is normal. And as you can see the UI is changed here. Oh, so we get a multi window here. I don't know what's okay. So this is for this. So if you just maps over here and if you just hit messaging over here so we get that multitasking or multi window over here so we just have to close it right there so that's there but apart from that that's pretty much it nothing much actually here if you just slide from two fingers i don't know if it's happening or not no Anyway, so that's this is the these are the modes over here. But yeah, that's been it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Also, if you want to see check out more ROMs on any device like that I own, uh, just leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to make a video on those as well. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.